Now we can upload landscapes to IftyDisk. There are some notes here before we get started as far as landscape requirements. Uh, they need to be a GeoTIFF, not in a zipped folder, and less than 600 megabytes and less than 60 million pixels. Uh, there are some other requirements too, as well as uh, notes on landscape extent. And to find those at a quick glance, that's in the Help Center. You can go to Map Studio, Landscapes, and we have a Upload Landscape section. You can see we have our upload requirements, as well as information on landscape buffering. So to upload a landscape, we can go to Map Studio. We'll select Landscape Tools. And we now have an Upload tab in the top right. And we can click Upload Landscape. We'll select our landscape. If you just will do an initial scan of it, you can see landscape summary data displayed in here. We can also change the landscape name and specify a work folder to store it in, either an existing one or creating a new one. And then by default, this include buffer option is checked and this will carve out a roughly three mile perimeter for a landscape buffer. And that will be treated like any other landscape buffer from a landscape that you create within IftyDisk. Uh, we can choose to not include that, in which case you just get the full, full extent of the landscape with no buffer. Uh, one note here, if you do choose this, these unbuffered landscapes cannot be run in landscape burn probability, so they can't be used for any processes that require landscape burn probability runs later, like risk assessment. So I'm going to go ahead and check include buffer and click add. We get a confirmation box here basically saying what we just went over on landscape buffers and what they're important for. And we'll click yes to exit out of that. And now if you this will begin the process of uploading the landscape and we can see it in the Add to Map section as submitted, but that's not going to tell us a whole lot. Uh, we really want to go to My Workspace and click on the landscape for the full details. And you can see the landscape status right now is requested. And then the right-hand metadata panel. And this is handy because it shows us our status here. For example, if a landscape fails, we could see in the status message that one, it failed, and two, why it failed. So that can be useful in submitting a new version that will successfully complete. And the other thing we'll note, since we're in Workspace, uh, if you choose not to include a buffer, your landscape name will be appended with NB for no buffer. And we can see that the landscape is now completed with the view on that button active. Here's our uploaded landscape with a buffer and it'll be available throughout landscape dropdowns in IftyDisk.